So recently in the group, somebody asked about their client wanting to get a discount if they paid for their care plan a year in advance. And I did offer this as a option for my clients when I first started my agency, but I learned pretty quickly that it really wasn't worth all the baggage that came with it. So in this video, I just wanted to go over the reasons why I only offer monthly billing to my care plan clients. And the number one reason is it keeps their invoice really small. You know, it's not hard for a business to go on autopilot and just pay the monthly bills that come in. I do this all the time. I do it with my internet bill. The bill comes in, I pay the bill, the bill is gone. But when you switch to annual billing, that bill gets multiplied by 10, 11, 12 times, depending on if they're offering you a discount or not. And when I get hit with a much larger bill, kind of out of the blue once a year, because I, I doubt that I'll remember it's coming, I have to stop and question it. Do I need this? Can I find a cheaper solution? And that's, that tends to hurt my wallet a little bit more when I get an annual bill versus a monthly bill. So for me, the number one reason is I'd rather just keep them on autopilot, paying a small amount each month and not really having to think about it. Now, the second reason is, is I don't want my customers to feel locked in. And I actually use this as one of the sales tools when I'm selling my care plans. So one thing that I can point out to them, especially right when they're getting on a care plan, it's typically right after we've just built their website and we haven't had a long time to build a relationship together. So I can tell them in the very beginning upfront that, hey, you only have to sign up for a month. If you decide this isn't for you, you can leave at any time. And that's a really good sales tool, especially for a client that might not be extremely comfortable with you yet. Knowing that they're not locked into some kind of long-term commitment makes it easier for them to say yes up front. Now, the third reason is it helps us to communicate a little bit more frequently. Now, I got to admit, I, I try to do my best to talk to my clients as regularly as I can. But I noticed the customers that I was billing annually, I was tending to spend less time talking to because we only had that set communication once a year when their invoice came around, it was really easy to kind of forget about those clients and only think about it once the bill was due. And it's a lot harder to approach those conversations when you're only asking them for money. So by keeping your bills monthly, you have a regular reason to be communicating with them. Now, the fourth reason is I think this makes it a whole lot easier for you to raise your rates. So if you were going to do a 10% increase on your rates and let's say you charge a hundred dollars a month for your care plan your bill is going to go from a hundred dollars to a hundred and ten dollars and a ten dollar isn't increase isn't real hard for a client to swallow but if you flip that into an annual increase then you're talking about a hundred and twenty dollar increase so for me it's just a whole lot easier to say hey i'm raising your bill by ten dollars then i'm going to raise your bill by a hundred and twenty dollars the fifth reason is it really stabilizes my cash flow. Most of my bills are due monthly. And when I can look at my income and my expenses each month and know exactly what's coming in and what's going out, it just makes things easier. When I have customers on annual plans, it's harder to predict and know exactly when that money's coming in. Now it is still possible. It's just harder to do it on a month by month basis because you're not used to factoring those things in. You might have a bunch of care plans that come in on January and none in February, and then a bunch in March, and then maybe you don't see any again until May. And it just makes it hard to be kind of on that roller coaster of how your income is coming in each month. Now, one of the most important reasons that I do this is to protect myself from bad fit clients. If I lock a, cu a customer into a care plan for a year and I find out in month two that they're not a good fit, I don't wanna be stuck with them for the next 10 months. By billing them monthly, I can easily terminate that contract myself and let them know that it's just not working out. And it gives me an easy out. I know I'm never gonna be more than 30 days from being able to get rid of a client if I need to. And the last reason is I think it kind of helps protect me from getting taken advantage of. So I offer uh, three 30 minute tasks per month inside of my care plan. And it's really easy to kind of manage those things on a month by month basis. That clock resets every month and we start again. And if a customer comes to me with their fourth or fifth request for the month, it's pretty easy to bring up, hey, we've already used up all your uh, changes this month, but if you'd like, we can push this to next month or I can bill you for this. And it kind of gives them an either or option. They can make the decision. But when this is done on an annual basis, you have to go straight to billing them more money. It doesn't really leave them that option. So for me as a people pleaser, sometimes I'm just more tempted to say yes and do it, even if I know it's out of the scope of the project. 
but I want to make sure I'm keeping my client happy. So by billing monthly, I can always push those things off to next month and kind of keep those boundaries set. Now, I know there's plenty of people that see success doing this with annual billing, and there's people like me who do it monthly. So to each his own, but I would want to caution you with these seven things that I laid out here and why I think monthly billing is a better way to go for your care plans. Now, this whole conversation was brought up inside of our group. If you're not a part of our group, you can go to the adminbar.com forward slash group and jump in on conversations like this. There's a lot of different people's opinions inside that thread, and you can kind of see both sides of the coin. Now, if you're having trouble selling care plans, we actually have a product called the Website Owner's Manual that's helping over 2,000 agencies sell care plans. It's a really simple solution, and I think you're going to find it clever. There's a link down in the description below where you can go check out and see exactly how the WALM works. We'll catch you guys on the next video.